going to share my return to tennis story. My name is BJ Reed. I'm a photographer, videographer, and a return to tennis player. My story started last year when my friend Jane asked me to produce a short film for their mixed doubles team, a tennis team, that uh, plays at Norlo Park in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. I caught the tennis bug again while working on the film. Viewing and editing the clips took me back many, many moons ago. Could I train and play tennis again? It looked like so much fun. The last time that I played a racket sport was when I was in my early 30s, I played racquetball. Prior to that, I played tennis as a college sophomore. As a phys ed major, I taught freshman class to play tennis. And as a teenager, I played recreational tennis. As you can see, there's a big gap between the last time I played tennis and today. Sometimes you hit the wall. I call tennis the good, the bad, and the funny. You need to have a sense of humor to survive playing tennis. Now the next step. In order to return to the courts, I needed a plan. This is my return to tennis story. Now the plan. First endurance, that is being able to run around the court for two hours at a time, two days a week, just like the normal game. DJ made room in the studio to train. Round and round and round she goes. Various muscles needed special attention. Exercising while watching tennis channels is a must. BJ works with an online coach who teaches the kinetic chain method, whereby most of the power comes from the legs and the hips, which alleviated stress on BJ's elbows and arms. Here BJ strengthens her left-handed strokes while rehabbing from an elbow issue. Let's go to the courts to practice at Green Township's newly built beautiful courts in Scotland, Pennsylvania, as well as Henniger Field in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. By the way, I'm Tom, my wife's practice partner, and much better than a ball machine. Here's BJ, practicing after a rain, during windy winter days, and of course, in the snow. Here we were, one month and one day after the doctor had ordered BJ to take one month off. At that time, she was able to work on her backhand, but alas, it would be another three months before she could comfortably hit forehands as well. Often Jane is BJ's partner in crime. But on this outing, BJ almost took out the camera. I'm sure glad we insured both the camera and the lens. There are those hot, sunny summer days. Overhead volleys need repeating. Forehand using split steps is improving. During the games at Norlo this year, DJ has had to use an underarm serve, which makes for interesting play. She's currently working on the overhead serve, and here she is specifically attempting to make better tosses and to use a little fuller serve. Knowing that she has more steps to go, she will set goals for making improvements this winter. Now it's team play. The cameraman is here, so let's get rolling. Tennis is a beautiful game, but like BJ says, tennis is the good, the bad, and the funny. Sometimes you nail it. Cheers and applause. Then this happens. A Rafa finish, but where's the ball? Funny, right? Here are the six members of today's team. 
the mixed doubles will be playing friendly round robin games. This year on a typical game day, 6 to 12 players show up. Today's team, as well as the other players, were a big part of BJ's return to the tennis story. Thank you for allowing us to film. You want excitement? How about some highlights from today's games? Nice overhead. All right. Nice serve. Was that a backhand? Missed it. Nice get. Out. Game. Nice shot. Tough miss. It's in. She made it. Long. Good try. Nice serve. Smooth. Out. Nice serve. Now that's just too good. Nice overhead. Missed it. That's game. Out. What a shot. On the line. Fantastic. What a shot. Can you believe that? Now there's a nice get. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, that jump.
out. Long for the win. That's game.